Hello, welcome to your yoga flow. I am Anne. We are going to do a full body opening today. We are going to start on our knees. If you happen to need a block underneath your sitting bones here, please take one. Place your hands on your thighs, turn your palms up, bringing thumb to touch index finger and close your eyes. Just start to feel your body on your mat. Spine is long. Shoulders relax down the back. Separating your teeth and starting to focus your breath through your nose. Creating a gentle humming of ha as you inhale and exhale. Grounding your energy. Just take a couple more breaths for you. Setting an intention if you'd like to. And slowly start to just move your head Doing some half circles with your neck. Going back and forth. And just noticing if there's any tight spots, you can pause along the way, just stretch into whatever you're feeling. And once you've Kind of moved a little bit if you'd like to do more full circles. Allow yourself to do that. Only if that feels appropriate. Just finding a sense of release. Of tension. Tightness. And find neutral with your head and take your wrists and just start to circle your wrists around. And make a fist with your hands. And roll the wrists. Go in the opposite direction. Hands are interlaced, take your palms out in front of you, press the heels of your hands, and slowly lift the arms up, up, up. Try not to arch your spine here. Only go as high as feels right in your body. Navel hugging spine. Just a nice, really big stretch. And then take your arms out to the side like a cactus and lift your heart, maybe lift your chin and chest. Beautiful, and then reach your hands up. And bring your hands down to the mat. Coming on to all fours, spread your fingers. Tuck your toes under and just press back towards your feet. Moving the heels a little bit side to side, loosening up the soles of the feet and the ankles. And migrate up onto your hands and your knees, relaxing through the ankles, melting the heart, gazing forward, inhale, throat opens, rounding spine as you exhale, pressing into your finger pads, releasing your neck. Inhale, melting your heart, rounding your spine. One more time, inhale, and round exhale. Find neutral in your spine, taking the right hand kind of behind your head like you're going to do a sit up, and then taking right elbow, tapping towards left forearm, and with your inhale, sweeping right elbow up as high as feels right. Exhale, tapping, opposite form, or get as close as you can. And inhale, open back up. One more time, tapping the form. 
and opening up. And once you open up, make some circles with your elbow, just opening up our spine, maybe three in one direction and then head in the opposite direction. Good. And then pause with your elbow reaching towards the sky. Extend your right leg back and just open up your chest again. It's almost a little back bend happening here. And as you're ready, point the elbow towards the sky and pick the right foot up. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, bring your elbow towards your knee. Find the little side crunch. Inhale, extend, catch your balance. Exhale, elbow towards knee. One more time, extend. And elbow towards knee. Good, extend through the leg and then also through the arm. Just this big, nice open. Bending your right leg, reaching back with your right hand, catching the outer edge of your foot, kicking your foot into your hand, opening your chest. Take your gaze towards the front of your mat. Breathing. Without slingshotting your leg, just gently release hand and foot, and then slowly let your foot come over towards the right, all the way forward, and step it right to the top right corner of your mat. And take a little twist here, opening up. Beautiful, circle your right hand back, and then all the way forward and reach both hands up into a low crescent. Take your elbows and cactus through the arms. God, and then reach your hands back up to the sky and slowly dip down through the left hand. It might come to your lower back or the back of your hip. That's where I'm gonna go and reach up to the right, just taking a little bit more of a deeper hip stretch Heart opener, fingers are wide on that right hand. Beautiful, circle your right hand inside of your right foot. Shift back towards your left knee. Pivot your left foot towards the right side of your mat and turn your right foot on its side here. Tent up onto your fingertips and either walk your hands forward or if you're tight with space like I am, come down to your forearms. Anchor down to the pinky toe side of your right foot. Deep in your breath. Good. Crawling back up onto your hands. Take a big breath through the right arm. Open up through the chest. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left arm opens up. Exhale, left hand down. One more time each side, right hand opens up. Right hand to the earth. Left hand opens up. And left hand to the earth. Pivot back around towards your right foot. Left foot will point towards the back of the mat. Right leg stays straight, flex your ankle and fold. Breathe some space into the back of the right leg. Anchoring down through the right heel, almost feel the action of heel pressing down and pulling back. There's a gentle pulling forward through the outer left hip. One more breath here. Good, rebend into your front knee. Tuck your back toe, lift your back knee, plant your palms and step to a plank pose and pause. Feeling your spine nice and long, pressing into your hands, fingers are spreading wide, deepening your breath. Let's lower to the belly slow for the count of five. Elbows bend back for four, three, two, and one. Ground the tops of your feet, take your 
hands out to the sides and tend to your fingers. Elbows will be really wide like a goal post here. With your inhale, open up your heart, lifting up with the strength of your spine. And a little aid through your hands. Heart pulls forward. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale again, lifting. Maybe a little higher if that feels good. Heart pulling forward, shoulders out of the ears, and exhale lower. One more time. Inhale, lifting. Heart lengthening forward, and exhale lower. Take your hands below your shoulders, press up onto your hands and your knees, and briefly back towards child's pose. Connecting third eye towards the earth. Take a couple breaths here, finding lots of space in your back body. Let's migrate back up onto our hands and our knees. Hands below your shoulders, knees below your hips. And then take your left hand towards the back of your head like you're going to do a sit up. And take a breath in. With your exhale, tap left elbow towards the right forearm. Inhale, open up as high to the sky as you can. Exhale, tap elbow towards forearm. Inhale, lifting up. One more time, tap elbow towards form and lift the elbow up high and then once it's lifted up high make some circles with the elbow I'm kind of moving my spine I'm kind of moving my arm and then go in the opposite direction so you're really loosening up your upper back and you might even find like you're strengthening the back. And then lift the left elbow towards the sky and extend your left foot back. Anchor the sole of the foot down. Feel this beautiful back bend, turning the chest to the sky a little bit here. Lots of opening in the side body. Slow and steady. Pick your left foot up off the ground. Anchor your eyes on something not moving to help you balance. Take a deep breath in with your elbow. Exhale, <laughs> elbow taps towards your knee. Inhale, lengthen back out. Exhale, elbow taps knee. One more time, lengthen out. Exhale, elbow taps knee. Lengthen back out and then release the left arm over the ear. Big long side body stretch. Start to bend your left leg. Reach your left hand back. Catch the outside edge of your ankle. Keep your ankle about the height of your hip. Kicking foot into hand and take your gaze towards the front of your mat. Opening up your neck and throat. Good. Big breath in. Gently release hand and foot. Take your hand to the sky and slowly keep your foot lifted, hip height. Bring your foot slow, slow, slow forward all the way to the top of your mat. And we adjust into a twist here, breathing. Beautiful, circle your hand back and down and then reach both arms up. Come into a low lunge. Take your arms and cactus the arms. Good, beautiful. Reach your hands up towards the sky and slowly take your right hand back behind you. I like to put it on my lower back. The left hand leads, lifting up and sinking into the hips just a little bit more. Breathing, eyes, finding something to look at to help you balance. Good. Reach forward through your left hand. Bring it inside of your left foot. And then turn your right foot towards the left as you straighten out your left leg. Okay, you can walk your hands forward or lower to the forearms. Anchoring down through the outer edge of the foot and really thinking about lifting the inner arch. 
breathing. Let's crawl back up onto our hands. Take your left hand and reach it up to the sky. Got to exhale, slowly bring hand back down. Right hand lifts up, turn as much as you can. Thinking about keeping the hips pretty balanced. It's not going to be perfect. Exhale, hand to the earth. One more time each side. Left hand lifts. And exhale. Right hand lifts. Beautiful. Exhale. Take your fingers, walk around towards the front, turn your right foot to face the back of your mat, flexing the left ankle and fold Ardha Hanuman. Drawing down to the left heel, flexing the toes back and almost pulling the heel back in space as your outer right hip draws forward just gently in space. Finding neutral through your neck. Good. We bend into your front knee. Tuck your back toe. Lift your back knee. Plant the palms. Find plank. Couple deep breaths here. Strengthen your arms. Strengthen your legs. Pull the navel to the spine. Crown of your head reaches forward. Maybe just half an inch more. Are you breathing or are you holding your breath? So make sure you're fluid with your breath. Shift forward, count of five. Use your knees if you need. Elbows bend four, three, two, and one. Grounding down, inhale either a cobra or pressing into your palms, coming into an upward facing dog. Big breath in. With your exhale, down dog. Pedal the legs and downward facing dog. Right leg to the sky. Bend your right knee, open up through your right hip. Good. Tap right knee towards your right tricep, right over the top of your push up. Inhale, foot to the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Right knee taps left tricep. Get that full twist. Come forward towards your push-up. Inhale, foot to the sky. Bend the knee, open up. Good. Right foot steps between the hands. Line your feet up with your hips. Find the high runner's lunge and take your hands back by your hips. Keep your belly close to your thigh, hovering over the front right thigh, and then take the right hip and plug it back just a little bit. Option to take your arms out. Building a little bit more heat. Breathe here for five, four, three, two, one. Step your left foot forward to meet the right. You're deep, deep here. Keep your belly close to your thigh. Hands reach forward, sit bones back, or hands reach back. Good. Take another breath. Step your left foot back. You're finding that same crescent and reach your heart up towards the sky. Take your elbows, cactus the arms, chest opens. Beautiful, reach your hands up. Good, slow and steady, take a twist. Left hand forward, right hand back. As you're here, if you need to bend the back knee, do so. Keep lengthening through your arms. Take your left hand to the sky the right hand towards the back thigh, or even the lower back. Lifting up, 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 sink down into your legs, maybe look down. Good, windmill the arms, left hand into the mat, right hand lifts up. Roll to the outer edge of your back foot. Step the right foot all the way behind the left leg, you're on your tippy toes, take your right arm up and over your ear. Gaze down, send your right hand up, slow and steady. Step all the way back to the top of your mat with your right foot, and then walk your hands inside of the right foot. Bend the left leg, skandasana. Right toes can lift if you like. Inhale, center. 
bend right leg skandhas and again you can lift your opposite toes one more time inhale center skandhasana crawl your hands back around towards the front of your yoga mat you're in your runner's lunge take your hands either back or forward and step forward with the left foot you're in that really deep, almost like you're a skier going down a fa uh, really steep slope here. You're trying to get some speed. Bring your hands to your heart. Gaze comes forward, stand up, left knee towards chest. Good, hold the left knee towards the chest. If you have to hold the knee up with your hands, you can. Breathe, flex your left toes up. Start to bend your right leg and cross, left thigh over right. Hug the ankle to the outer shin or tuck the toes behind the calf. Arms reach up. Breathe. Good, take left arm underneath right eagle arms. Forearms out of your face. Elbows lift a little, shoulders draw down the back, sit a little deeper. Keep the arms, stand up, unwind the left leg. And one last time, take the left leg back behind you. This time it hovers, you're in a warrior three. Good, deep breath in, wrap the outer left hip down. Deep breath out. Unwind your arms, reach them back like you're an airplane. Take a big breath in. Step back one more time, crescent, reach up to the sky, kiss your hands. Exhale, circle your hands big and wide down to the earth. Step back to plank and hover your right foot, breathe. Hold it there for five, four, three, two. Let's slowly lower, five, Four, either halfway or to your belly. Three, two, up dog or cobra, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Breathe. I don't know about you, but it's harder to talk through it all. Couple breaths here in stillness. Maybe close your eyes. If you've lost your breath, come back to it. Take our left leg to the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Exhale, left knee taps your left tricep. Foot to the sky, bend the knee, open up. Cross under your body, tap your right tricep all the way forward, you've got it. Foot to the sky, bend the knee, open up. Knee to nose, step through. Find your feet in line with your hips. You're in a runner's lunge and then take your hands back by your hips and hover over your front left thigh. There's really a straight line from the back heel out through the crown of your head and your arms can go forward to accentuate the strength here. Breathe, look slightly forward, step your right foot Next to your left, get nice and low here. Good. Take your hands either forward or back. And then we'll slowly lean into the left foot and step back again with the right leg. So you're in crescent, rise on up. Take your elbows wide like a cactus. Beautiful, reach your hands up to the sky. Split the arms, right hand forward, left hand back. Go deeper, you can bend the back knee if you need to. Good, reach right hand to the sky, left hand to the back, right thigh, or the lower back, lift up. Bend that front knee, don't straighten it out. Good, windmill the arms, right hand down. Left hand reaches, twist. 
Gently roll to the outer edge of your back foot and slowly step back and around with the left foot land on the tippy toes. Take your left arm up and over the ear. Good, slowly pick your left foot up, straighten the leg, and you're gonna bring it all the way back forward. Left hand comes down, walk towards the back right foot, bending the right knee, skandhasana. You can keep the left foot down or lift the toes. Inhale through center. Exhale, bending left leg, skandhasana. One more time, center and bending right leg. Good. Walk your hands around to the front, finding your runner's lunge. Hands can reach forward or back. When you're ready, gently step forward with the right foot. Get deep, deep, deep into the legs. Maybe reach the hands forward. Strong back here. And then take your gaze forward, bring your hands to your heart, and you'll stand up, bringing your right knee up and into your chest. Flex the ankle up. You can hold the knee if you need to. Crown of your head is lifted. Start to bend your left leg, cross right thigh over left. Hug the ankle to the outer shin, or try tucking the toes. Reach your hands to the sky. Right arm sweeps underneath left, eagle arms. Hands move out of your face, elbows lift, shoulder blades down the back, sit deeper. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your arms. This time we'll keep the arms, but unwind the legs. Take your knee up and then extend your leg back, finding warrior three. Beautiful, wrap your outer right hip down, lift the inner right thigh. God, unwind your arms, take more of an airplane arm. Big step back, crescent lunge, reach your hands up, kiss your palms. And circle your hands big and wide down to the earth. Step back with your left foot and hover the foot off the ground, breathe here for five. Four, three, two, try to keep it lifted, lower five, four, three, two, either cobra or come into up dog, both feet ground, and down dog. Walk your feet in about a foot's length closer and widen the feet to the outer edges of your mat. Come up onto your fingertips and melt your heart back a little bit. Good. Lean into your right fingertips. You can also do this with the palm flat if it's too much on the fingers. Take your left hand to your outer right ankle and pull your gaze underneath your right armpit. Really strong right arm. Navel hugging spine, flushing out our digestive system. Good, unwind your left hand, find the fingertips or flat palm, if that suits you better. Right hand to outer left ankle, and then pull and gaze underneath the left arm. Beautiful. Right hand back to the mat. Walk your hands back to your feet. Heels in, toes out. Squat down from malasana. And then while you're here, you'll bring your hands to your heart. Press your elbows to your inner knees. Lift up to the pelvic floor. Circle the head if you wish, releasing neck. Finding a neutral neck, take your chest forward through the split in your legs, right shoulder in front of right knee, fingers to the right, up on the tented fingertips, left hand spreads open to the sky. 
option to wrap the left arm around your back with the final option of taking a bind here around your right chin. I can barely grab fingertips to each other, so you might grab the opposite wrist, but if you can only grab a fingertip or you can use a strap, draw whatever you have clasped down and lift your chest up. Beautiful, then unwind, and let's take the other side. Left fingers to the left, and shoulder comes in front of the knee. Right hand peels open this big, how we think of like a big, giant bird of prey, like soaring through the sky here. Maybe the neck releases. Tucking hand behind the back is an option, with the last option to be a bind, if you want that today. Draw your hands down, lift the rest of your torso up, Breathe, feel, release your back, your hips. I love this pose. Beautiful, let's unwind back to center. Kiss the hands, spine as long just for a moment. Got it. and then fingers to the earth. Straighten the legs as you lift the hips up. Walk your hands towards the top of your mat. Hands are shoulder distance, and then drop the forearms down. You can walk your feet a little closer if you wish for dolphin. Melting the heart back, head is off the earth. You're pressing really strongly through the forearms. You can bend your knees if you need. Option to lift the right leg to the sky. Reach up through the ball of the foot, spread your toes out. Extend longer through the leg. And right leg comes down, left leg extending to the sky. If it's too much, both feet stay on the mat. Press into your forearms. This pose always unlocks the devil in my shoulders. Got left foot to the earth. Pause for another breath or two. I always like to be in that space where I know transformation is happening. You feel that. Gently lower your knees down. Draw the arms alongside the legs. Support yourself in child's pose. Shoulder heads get heavy. Take a couple rounds of breath. Feet are close together. Hands are going to come around the heels. The fingers will wrap around the heels. And I want you to lift your hips up, tucking your head under for rabbit, stretching the back out a little. There's only about 10% of the weight in your head here. That beautiful opening. Shoulder blades pulling apart. Feet are anchored down. Got it, then come on down and slowly round your spine, coming up to kneeling. Beautiful. All right, let's take a camel today. So you'll come up onto your knees. If this pose feels challenging in your body, baby steps. If you do have a block handy, I like using a block in this pose. However, you don't need to. So if you have a block, you'll place it between your thighs. Tuck your toes under to start. Fingertips will face up, and you wanna keep that squeeze around that block. If you don't have a block, your, your knees are hips width, okay? You're lifting your heart, and the spine is getting long first. So some of us are just here, and that's enough. Some of us aren't ready to drop the head back. If you are, you'll lift up, 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 until the head can rest back. The last part of this pose is reaching for your heels. If you feel comfortable today, you'll reach one hand back and then the other. Breathe. If your hands are at your heels, bring them to your back first. Lift up through your heart, 
head comes up last. Beautiful. Sit back towards your heels, hands rest on the thighs, chin to chest. Breathe and receive. One more thing I like to do to release the neck, you'll take your hands to the back of your neck here. Interlace the fingers right underneath the skull and then just lift the elbows up. As you do, let your head rest back. Pull with your hands. So it's like you're creating that natural curve of the neck. Maybe close the eyes. I can feel my tricep stretching. So the elbows reach towards each other even more. Three more breaths here. This is an amazing way to de-stress the neck from all of us looking down at computers and cell phones. Go ahead and then help your head back up. Release your hands. Ah, that always makes me feel so good. Sit off onto one hip. Bring your feet around and in front of you. Let's extend our right leg and take the left foot over the right. Sit up nice and tall. If you want to tuck the foot, you can tuck the foot today. Grab a hold of your left knee with your right elbow. Take your left hand behind you. Breathe. Depending on how open your shoulders are feeling, you can wrap your left hand around, reaching towards the belly on the right side. And then your right hand will go on the outside through that like little hole and it'll reach through and I just barely found a fingertip. So once you get the bind, it's easier to sit up. Shoulders down the back and maybe complete the twist by looking over back shoulder. You can also use a strap between the two hands if that's something you wanna to work towards. But regardless, let's just spend a couple extra breaths here, rinsing out our spines. Beautiful. Unwind. Take your left foot inside of your right thigh. Reach your hands up and reach towards your right foot, ankle, or just the mat here. Lengthening your back as much as you can. Neck finds neutral. Toes spread wide. Soften your jaw. Relax your shoulders. And beautiful, come on up. Straighten out your left leg and bend your right knee. Take your right foot, cross it over your left thigh. Sit up nice and tall to start. Grab a hold of your right thigh, knee, shin, with your left arm, and then take left, or excuse me, right hand behind you. So you wanna kinda snuggle into your twist first. Maybe this is enough. You close your eyes, you breathe. We have the option of taking the back hand around the back towards the belly on the left side, left, right, left, right. And then take your right hand through. Maybe you can find a fingertip. If you do, snuggle into that bind and then sit up tall and complete the twist by looking over the back shoulder, rinsing out our bodies, releasing today's practice, finding lots of openings today. I don't know about you, but I found a lot of strength within my flow. Hopefully you did too. Good. Unwind yourself back to center. Take your right foot inside of your left inner thigh. Flex the left toes up. Lengthen your spine and reach for the foot, the ankle, or your mat. Draw your right shoulder down. Don't let that right side lift. Breathe. Good, come on up. 
I want to end today's practice with shoulder stand. However, if you're not doing a shoulder stand, you can do a block underneath your sacrum, feet to the sky, or pick something completely different to do. So up to you. But for today's purpose, we're going to rock down and go right over the top. So make sure you don't turn your head side to side. If you have neck problems, eye issues, headache, don't do this one. Hands reach forward, tuck your tail, roll down. Hands will press to the earth. You'll kick your feet up and over the back of your head. Find your mid back with your hands, blocking the elbows in. One foot to the sky, then the second. You can do more of a reversing pose if you wish. Otherwise, lift up, 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 up. Breathe. Gently guide your toes over your head when you're ready. If you want to stay longer in shoulder stand, do. Coming into plow, hands can stay at your back or they can come to the earth. Feet can be wide or together. Good. Pass through plow, we'll come into fish. You'll widen your shoulders, palms will come down. You're gonna land on your flat palms with your sacrum, your lower back. Slowly bring your feet all the way forward. Lift your heart, roll your arms underneath you, lifting the heart, dropping the head back one more time today. That neck should feel really good after our practice. Nice and open. Chin tucks towards chest, head releases down, release your arms. Happy baby stretch. Let's all meet here regardless of where you're at. Rock a little side to side if you wish. Maybe bringing one foot in and then the other. Beautiful knees to chest, forearms wrap around shins, nose to knees, squeeze your body, take a big breath, hold it in. Squeeze a little bit more, sip in more air. Let it go. Stretch out either on your back or please do feel free to take feet up the wall here. Finding your optimal position for today's Shavasana. Feet are a little wider. Hands out to the sides, palms turn up. If you're not used to that, just start training your body. It feels so natural after you give it a shot. Closing your eyes and literally release all your effort, your breath, your mind, your body, everything just softens. We allow the ground below us to support us in this time. We let go of anything that didn't work for us today and really soak in the things that did. In your mind, say to yourself, I am ready, I am willing, I am open to receive. I am ready, I am willing, I am open to receive. And then allow your body to do just that. Please spend as much time as you have here on your back. Allowing all of the benefits of your practice to seep into the tissues, forming these memory bases and you can call upon the energy and strength that you found today at any time. Any time. I'm so happy to be practicing with you. Thanks for being on this yoga journey with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like this post, comment what you thought about it, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Again, I'm Anne. Namaste, friends.